cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6, the oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens nerves, control eye movements. Because these nerves work together so closely, they're examined as a group. The oculomotor nerve is also responsible for pupillary constriction and raising the upper eyelid. Check the position of the upper eyelids while the patient looks directly at you. The eyelids should be symmetrical and should not obscure the pupils. Next, inspect the pupils. They should be round and approximately equal in size. Size should be appropriate to room light. Test the pupillary reaction to light by shining a light on each pupil in turn. Observe for the direct reaction and the consensual reaction. If the light reaction is abnormal or ambiguous, test the patient's near reaction. Hold your finger or a pencil about 10 centimeters from the patient's eyes and tell him what to do. Look at my finger. Look off into the distance. Watch for pupillary dilation with distant gaze and pupillary constriction with near effort. Look at my finger. Look off to the distance. Repeat this test if necessary. Look off to the distance. Now check the extraocular movements in the six cardinal directions of gaze. From two to three feet in front of the patient, ask him to look at your finger as it moves to the patient's far right, to the right and up, to the right and down. Now move your finger to the far left, to the left and up, and to the left and down. These movements should be symmetrical and conjugate. Look for the jerky movements of nystagmus in lateral gaze and in upward gaze. Test for convergence of the eyes by asking the patient to look at your finger as you move it toward the bridge of his nose. Eyes can usually follow your finger to within 5 to 8 centimeters.